Welcome to the Build Your Empire with the Kingdom Strategist for a time of building and expanding the kingdom of God within you. We are educating and equipping individuals around the world to build and expand in their dreams, goals, visions, purpose, and destiny through biblical principles and application. I am your host, Apostle Deron Shane Zorn, your kingdom strategist, here to release strategy and revelation to unlock the kingdom within you. Amen, amen, and amen. We want to welcome you back to another dynamic episode of the Build Your Empire with the Kingdom Strategist. And I'm so excited to have you with me on today. My God, God is just continuing to bless us, to empower us in his word of truth. And I just love our Father for that. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God, we have um, to put together another dynamic episode, dynamic people of God. I mean, my God, um, that is going to empower us, encourage us, that is going to motivate us, going to break us free, right? From the property mindset, that's going to break the limitations, right? Um that have been placed on our financial freedom because of the mindset that we have partaken in or the mindset that has been developed, right, through our environment, through society, you know, social norms and those things of that nature. But we thank God for such a time as this, that we are no longer going to be limited or in a place of limitations because of those things in our lives, dynamic people of God. And so, my God, God is so absolutely faithful, capable, and able for doing it for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory be unto the Lord, dynamic people of God. And so let us go to a word in prayer. Amen. And then um, after our word of prayer, I'm going to give us our dynamic topic. And then we're just going to flow in the Holy Ghost, right? Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. And just let God be God and do what it is that he do in our lives. Amen. Because God is really up to something. He is moving by his spirit and by his might in the majestic name of Jesus, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. 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 In the majestic name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Lord. So, my God. Um for such a time as this let us go to the lord in prayer oh gracious lord we thank you for this moment we thank you for this time we thank you for destiny on today because you have already written it in your book amen that it would be established in this hour for our lives and so we bless your holy and and righteous name Oh, Almighty King, that that you would even know where we would be individually and collectively, Father God, that we would need this message on today to break the strongholds and the limitations uh, that has been um, placed, the constraints that have been placed on our financial freedom. And so we thank you for wisdom and knowledge, oh God, from heaven, fresh manna, that will provide us with the substance that we need so that we can break ourselves free 
free from the places of limitations where the lies and deception has held us in captivity. In the majestic name of Jesus, we thank you for a financial um, flow, oh God, a financial currency of streams, oh God, that does not stop. Stop, Almighty King, as we provide services and products in the earth to help your people to solve solutions. My God, to I mean to solve problems that we bring forth solutions that solve problems in the everyday living of individuals' lives. We thank you for the purpose that you have created on the inside of us to meet a need of somebody somewhere in the world in the majestic name of Jesus. We thank you, oh God, that you have already orchestrated those who have a need for that in which you have placed on the inside of us and that we will oh god move in the boldness of the creativity that you have placed on the inside of us and we will put our hands to work and we will put our minds to work and lord god and we would advance in everything that you call forth in us in the majestic name of jesus my god Hallelujah, that every idea will manifest, that it will not be just locked in our mind or locked in our hearts, but Lord God, that we will see the manifestation of it and we will see the manifestation in operation as others are using uh, that in which you have given unto us with witty inventions, oh God, through, oh God, training and development development programs and literature, oh God, that Lord God, that help humanity in the majestic name of Jesus to grow and develop in the purpose in which you have called for in their lives to give them what they need in this hour, God, to rise up for a Lord God and out of places of limitations and lack that they may live the life, the life of abundance that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has given unto us in the majestic name of Jesus. Oh God, breathe on us in this place. Regulate our minds, oh God. Regulate our hearts, Father, that it may come in one accord in alignment with the truth of your word in the majestic name of Jesus. Oh, have your way on tonight in this broadcast almighty king hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord that our lives would change oh god that we would elevate to the level of the word that you have spoken about our lives hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank you jesus glory to your name god as there is no one like you. You are holy and majestic in everything that you do. And we thank you that you are intentional with every situation and circumstance, trial and tribulation that comes our way. Because, oh God, they are assisting us. Hallelujah. In becoming the very word in which you've spoken about our lives. Give us insight. Give us, Lord God. Give us wisdom. That we may run this race. Almighty King, in the majestic name of Jesus. Oh, how we give you glory. And how we give you praise. And it is in the majestic name of Jesus that we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. And amen. Dynamic people of God in this episode of the Build Your Empire with the Kingdom Strategies. We are talking about there are no shortcuts to success. We are in the Breaking the Poverty Mindset of Entrepreneurs series. We are in part eight. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We are addressing this topic because so many entrepreneurs, amen, they are quitting, right? Right in the middle, right, of of success, amen, Um, because it has not come in or did not come in um, the capacity or as quickly as they desired amen you may have had a, a business venture that amen that God placed in your heart and that you did not follow through to the completion of a thing because you didn't begin to see the income amen as quickly as you thought that it would amen glory to god thank you jesus um hallelujah so i'm excited about this episode uh because we live in a microwave world that wants everything quickly amen glory to god but before we dive into this topic on today i want you to go ahead and do me a favor and share this broadcast on your social media platforms text or email somebody the information so they can join in on our powerful discussion you can also connect with us on our social media platforms on instagram and facebook at kingdom strategies And on Twitter at KB Strategies with questions and comments. And you can also discuss, right, um, any business matter, amen, in the majestic name of Jesus. Glory be unto God in this place. We definitely want to thank our business sponsor. Amen. D Technology. They are the one stop shop for your business need. Go and visit them at www. The letter D Technology Web. Com. Amen. That is www. D Technology dot com for your business solutions amen in the majestic name of jesus glory to god today we are talking about there are no shortcuts to success amen hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god everybody want amen success quickly Because we live in a society where everything is at our fingertip, at the push of a button. We are so advanced in technology that we believe that the process or the cycle of success should just come at the push of a button. Sometimes we believe if we think it or if we produce a thing that it should automatically come out. Amen. Successful. That overnight what I have produced or what I have thought of should instantaneously become an overnight 
success. Success is not microwave. And it surely doesn't happen overnight. So we're going to deal with the poverty mindset that desires to take shortcuts to success. Because the truth of the matter is, is that when we think or desire or try to take shortcuts to success, we find ourselves in places where we delay and prolong our success. And so we're going to deal with a few things in the text on today, um, dynamic people of God. So I'm just excited about our topic. I want to first visit the book of Exodus, right? I want to go to Exodus um, chapter 13. We know in the book of Exodus, we have the children of Israel. That God had promised that he will amen, give unto them a land that flows milk and honey. Amen. Word of God. And so what many refer to as the promised land. There was a promised land. Amen. That he was given unto them a place where they will settle and call their very own. It will be the first set of property that they would Ever acquire the first set of land that they would have that they could live in and call their very own. Amen. And so we know that in the book of Exodus that they were in Egypt, started out in Egypt. Amen. And God sent Moses to deliver Israel out of the hand of Pharaoh who was oppressing them at the time. We are now in Exodus 13 at a point in the text where God had done done 10 plagues. Amen. I'm um, glory to God. And um, the, at the last one, um, the firstborn of the Egyptians, sons, livestock, right? And all of that died because Pharaoh would not allow um, Israel to leave, amen, the land. And so at this point in chapter 13, they had finally um, been released from Pharaoh. And so they were on their journey. They were on their journey to the promised land. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. But I want to drop us right here in verse 17 of Exodus 13. Remember, our topic is there is no shortcuts. Right? No shortcuts to success. And we're going to talk about a few things because the process of success is necessary. Amen. So that our territory can be enlarged. And so that when we finish the process, amen, when we have worked hard, when we have fought the fight of faith, then guess what? Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, the success is going to be worth it. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So here we go. Um, Israel, they're on their way uh, from under bondage. They're on their way to out of captivity to go to the land of promise, the land that flowed milk and honey, the land that they had prayed for, dreamed about for years and years and years since um, God had gave the prophecy to 
their forefather Abraham. Amen. Glory to God. Israel had been in captivity um, in Egypt for about 400 years. At this particular point, they had been enslaved. And so now they're on their way out to glory be unto God to go and possess the promise. Now, as they are leaving out to go and possess the promise, verse 17 says this in Exodus 13. It said, when Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistines country, though that were shorter. For God said, if they face war, they may change their minds and return to Egypt. My God, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. You know, even that thought right there, it, it just gives me so many thoughts in my mind where, you know, entrepreneurs, right? Amen, glory to God, that, um, that they wanted to take the short route and they thought that the short route would get them faster, right? They take and want to take shortcuts. And they thought that the shortcut or the shorter route will get them to that place of success faster. But what they didn't realize on the short route, right? Amen, glory to God. There was some adversities or challenges there, right? Um, that would hinder them from true success. Matter of fact, they did not see, right, um, in addition to the things that would come on their path to hinder them, to delay them, right, from the successful growth that they were really looking or hoping to acquire. Here, God knew Amen, glory to God, that there was a shorter route. And strategically, he had Israel to take the long route. Why? He said, if they faced war, they may change their minds and return to Egypt. You got to understand people of God, that even as the account progresses in the word, there are going to come times in Israel's journey that they had to fight, right? Mm -hmm. My God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. There were times that they had to fight. And that they, during those times of having to fight, like King Ah, King Cheyenne, right? They had to fight against those kings. It wasn't a thought in their mind at that particular time to go back to Egypt. They fought, amen, and fought fearlessly so that they can get to the promise that God had called forth in them. So, many a times, people of God, amen, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. Uh, the short route that we take, or we try to take, or we hope to take to get the hand up, it could really be in a place to set you back. I want to journey over into the word, because I want us to understand that we must go through the process and that we must complete the process to its very end. If we miss a component, if we miss a piece, that means that whatever we are building, that it is not built on a solid and strong foundation. And when we don't build on a solid and strong foundation at any given time, the business can crumble. At any 
given time, the business can fall apart. Why? Because it does not resonate. It is not, my God, um, sitting on that which is stable. Amen. That which is stable. Why? Because during the shortcut process, there were some things that we missed, right? I mean, that's just like, for instance, writing a book. In writing a book, that there is a sequence, right, that have to take place. You can't write a story and just write chapter one and then take the people directly to chapter 13, right? What happens with all the information between chap I mean that 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 was in two through twelve. If they miss all of that information, they're not gonna be able to connect the pieces from chapter one to chapter thirteen. So they're going to need the complete, right, story. They're going to need all the chapters so they would have enough information. Amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. That they have enough information to process what it is that you're saying to their understanding, right? And so that's just like, you know, with building our business, right? So, so many times we, we want to take shortcuts and I'm just going to just deal with a, just a couple of things because it damaged our business when we try to overlook and we don't take go through the process that's necessary, right? So many a time, sometimes we just get a business and we just think, okay, I just get a business name and I just start working a business, right? We don't go and register our business the legit way, right? Go register with the state, go get your EIN number and all of those other things, amen? Um, we We... We, we just don't do. And so even because of that, watch this. And man, you know, some people, you could have been in business for 20 or 15 years off books, right? 15, 20 years off books. Why are you considered to be off books? Because you're not a registered entity, meaning that you're, you don't have a real business. But Ringo, hey man, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. You know, people say they got business and ministries that, amen, glory to God, it just ain't even a legal entity because they haven't went through the process that was necessary. So when things come along, right, when grants comes along or business partnership ventures come along that could give your business entity or your ministry or the organization that you have formed that could supply financial resources, right? Um, to help the growth and development for your business. You miss out on it. Why? Because you don't, your business is not even established. Now, I, I was talking or I was having conversation and or drop some information right over in the build your empire now group on facebook right and so i was showing them just even how simple how an email an email address was costing right companies twelve thousand dollars IBM, right? IBM was giving away, and they're still doing it. Amen, glory to God. Amen. They were giving away $12,000 of free IBM cloud credits, right? Amen. 
Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But guess what? This was one of the stipulations. In order to obtain this $12,000 of free IBM cloud credit, right? That was a $12,000 in kind donation that they are giving to business entities. But I'm going to read this to you. It said, in order to receive this offer, you must provide a valid business email address, personal account emails like Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo will not be accepted. Wow. And so me, amen, word of God, I even went to check them out, you know, and, and let me just validate what they have going on and what it is that they're doing. So I will, I put in my personal email address, right? They said, they wouldn't even let you finish filling out the form. I said, no, this is an invalid email. It validates the email instantaneously as you type it in email but praise god that i did have a business email address right so it, it costs you something around what fifty dollars a year if that um to have a business email address and it and and you lose what a twelve thousand in kind donation my god over fifty dollars wow and that wasn't the only company amen and other companies are doing that as well people of god let me amen glory to god it was this other company now they were giving away free screaming service right they give away so many free not screaming services but um software to scream your your live um uh, events or um your live church services and actually let me back up because this was for the church this was on the church side Amen, glory to God. They was doing this. They only do this for churches, right? So if you a church, amen, they would give you, they, they give away so many free softwares a year, right? And as they give away these free softwares a year, one of their stipulation is this. You got to have a business email account. No shortcut, right? No, no shortcut. So go and register, go and purchase a business email. Why would, amen, this particular software was um, $350 or what have you. Amen, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So you spend $50 on an email address for the year. Amen. You get a $350 software. Like, you know, so I just think about how many other business opportunities do we miss out on? Now, let us not even go and and and, and have the thought, amen. They may not say it out loud verbally, but I am glad that IBM is making it known. They're putting it out on the forefront because so many companies deal with it on the back end and or in, in closed doors privately. You are turning in proposals and all these other type of things, right? Um, amen. To try to get business partnerships or try to get uh, as well as financial, right? Um, financial support. And you're turning these type of documents in with personal email addresses on it. And they filed 13 in you. Because they don't consider you to be our established business. Look, we cannot shortcut a man our business endeavors. Stop. A, let us stop shortchanging. 
start changing ourselves when it comes to business, when it comes to our entrepreneurship endeavors, people of God, because it is hurting your bottom line in business. Let us not, you know, as well, I, you know, I am major when it comes to branding. When it comes to um, how we represent our company, amen, we should create or develop a brand touch that no matter where the people are introduced to our brand, they get the same look and feel all over the place. And that is what people expect. Whether they're meeting you in person or they're meeting you online in an online space, on your website, on your social media um, platforms and things of that nature. You have to create that customer experience so that you can create a client for a lifetime. You want a customer or to, to become a client, right? So that you can take them to various experiences that you offer, services and products and things of that nature. You don't want, um, because you want to take a shortcut or you want to ch cheat yourself. We got to stop cheating our, our businesses, people of God. And we got to get all in and we got to come all in into the investment because we want to skip the process. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We can't skip the process. We, we can't skip the process. It just can't happen, will not happen, um, don't happen, um, people of God. That, that's some things that we have to do. Amen. To make sure that our businesses are legit. Amen. Make sure they're registered. In addition to, amen, making sure that we bring forth a corporate uh, front, a corporate image, amen, a entrepreneur, a business image when we, you know, step out of our gates. Even if, my God, even if people of God, you know, I'm big on a whole lot of things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But um, even if there's some places and spaces, if you have to temporarily rent property, let your immediately short goal come into a place, right, where you're looking to purchase, right? You're looking to purchase property in the online space and i'll talk about that in a moment um people of god because we're talking about how our shortcuts hinder us amen so guess what we're talking about you being a business entity and you're trying to partner with people you're trying to solicit people so that they can hire you to be um a consultant or come in and speak and things of that nature for their entities for their organizations and because you don't you're not stepping out as a business should because you're taking shortcuts you want somebody to invest in you but you won't even invest in you amen y'all y'all know one of my favorite quotes is when you invest in yourself it empowers others to invest in you and so your investment into you would be to establish your business appropriately establish your business where amen Lord God, it looks like a legit business amen glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah um, you just can't be throwing stuff together and and think somebody or businesses or corporations are supposed to be uh, are, are just supposed to want to utilize your service. You may have the best service, but what's knocking you out of the game is that you ha you refuse or you will not or may just don't even know how to, right? Set up or bring forth a corporate image, Amen, glory to God. Some, some people may just be taking, their shortcuts may just be all they know. 
even though that it may hurt them. That's why you hire a business coach like myself, amen, to come and look at, amen, glory to God, uh, what are the things in your business that that could be hindering you from growing you want to grow you want to move you you you, you, you want to take it to the next level and things of that nature amen um glory to god but it may be challenging and that's okay that's why god has you know placed us that's why we're many members of one body right Everybody have their own specific gift. They operate in their own lane, right? And we have to be those that, look, if I ain't got the gift, I got to be willing to hire somebody to make it happen. So that why my finances to my business won't be hindered. And so that alone can cause frustration because you're going to be putting out proposals. You can be, you know, going to have meetings all over the place and things of that nature, going before people selling, trying to uh, sell yourself. Amen. Um, glory to God. And, and, and simple stuff is keeping you from reaching the financial um, goal, your financial goals. Because they're looking, I mean, you coming to the table, amen, glory to God, asking for, you know, $200, I mean, not $200, I mean, $2,000 or what have you, even if it was $200, but, amen, glory to God, you're asking for $2,000, $5,000 for something, and you can't spend $50 on presenting your organization or your business or ministry as a entity i mean it costs a little it costs more than i'm just the email portion i mean you still have to people of god you have to get your state registration i know in georgia it's a hundred dollars and um to get it uh incorporated in the state and then you have to do your forty dollars um to put it in the papers and then depending on your county whatever your county charge for business licenses amen your ein number is absolutely free And so, I mean, we hear the term, you got to spend money to make money. It's like really true. You got to invest in you so that others will know that you're not just a scammer, right? That you're not just scamming, amen. You ain't just put something together and claiming you're something and scamming them. People of God, we got to get this stuff together, now, let me say this is too, because this is how I know people just don't know. This is how I know people just don't know. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you got people who have websites. And they still use personal accounts, right, on their business cards, through the emails and things of that nature that they send. This is how I know. I'm like, they just don't know no better. Because they already have purchased it, amen, glory to God. They've purchased the capacity or the capability, right, to have a business email address, and they're not utilizing it. And it's hurting their bottom line as well. Now, that is just the lack of knowledge portion on that side. The shortcut on our side is that we want to rent everything or we want to take everything free. To get to a place or get to where we desire and, and people of God, it just don't work that way. That is not how a man glory to God just the kingdom of God is even designed, even though there's a major, major poverty mindset, amen, among the body, because they just believe that everything should just be free, even though the word says that a workman is worth their hire. Do we volunteer? Yes. Amen, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But 
We ought to be willing, right? We shouldn't have that mindset. We should be willing to invest in what it is that God has given unto us, our businesses. And even as business owners, amen, we should be willing to invest in to in partnership with other businesses to help increase our business, to help upgrade us, right? Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so we have to make it happen. Um, dynamic people of God. We, we have it is we have a mandate on our lives for our businesses to prosper. For our businesses to prosper. So if our business is gonna prosper, we gotta operate it successfully. I wanna you know what I'm gonna do something just on King Solomon because I love his industrial mindset. His industrial mindset, amen, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. I, amen. I, I love when I'm studying King Solomon and how when he had to come and build the temple, right? Every masonry, every carpenter, amen, every tree cutter, every, amen, seamstress or whatever he used or whoever, whatever gift he used, he paid. Because he understood, this is, he understood that, amen, the workman is worth the hire. And so even when we want to shortchange other people, right, or not, or get something for free, we're damaging our own businesses. So what you talking about, Dr. Z? Hey man, what 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 are you talking about? <laughs> Glory to God, thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah. I believe it's over in the book of James. It talks about this people of God, and I'm paraphrasing. It talks about when one would work somebody and not pay them. Their rages. How the cries of the people would reach God, and that God would have an alt. My God, that God would have an alt. Ought. And God will deal righteously. Amen. Glory to God. With that individual. Let's deal with it here as well. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's talk about it here. Amen. Deuteronomy. And I'm going to give you that reference in James. So Deuteronomy 24 and 15. And I really just need to do something just on this all by itself. It says this. Pay them their wages each day before sunset. Because they are poor and are counting on it. Otherwise, they may cry to the Lord against you. And you will be guilty of sin. Wait a second. We don't pay people fair wages or what they, I mean, what have been established as their pay rate. That's why I don't even negotiate with people, right? I tell you this all the time. What, what What's your price? Be like, what's your price? I mean, one of two things. If I can't afford your price right now, I'm going to Go, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to go get my money right and then come back where I can afford you. Or if I can't afford you, then what I will do, I'll go find somebody that does the same service at a price that I can afford. But I'm not going to haggle with you with your prices. Absolutely not. 
because I understand that set prices are set for a reason. A set price builds in everything that is necessary from running the business, amen, glory to God, to even being paid to do the work. Amen, glory to God. There are so many different fees that are associated with somebody doing work for you. Amen, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And how dare you rob them, amen, of that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So this is the James. This is the scripture in James I was talking about. It's James uh, chapter 5, verse 4. It said, look, the wages you withheld from the workmen who mold your fears are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord. My God. Okay, so the rest of that says this. <laughs> if it reached the cross of the Lord, right? My God. You have lived on the earth luxury and self indulge. You have fattened your heart in the day of slaughter. You have condemned. And murder the righteous who did not resist you. I'm at verse 7 right now. Be patient then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's come and see how the former waits for the land to yield its valuable crops, patiently waiting for the autumn. And the spring rain. My God. You too be patient and stand firm. Because the Lord coming is near. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. God is going to deal. God will deal people oh God. My God. uh, With us. God tells us in the word, do not defraud or rob our neighbors. Don't withhold what's due unto them. What is due unto them is their fair wage. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Because again, that wage has been accounted for. To do what's necessary. Into making that person's life work so that they could live the abundant life, amen, that we talk about. And how dare we rob each other from that abundant life. Amen, glory to God. I'm on a shift. Um, I'm just saying, I just want to put that out there. Amen, glory to God, people of God, because we got to get our mind right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So, here we are. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Where are we? Um, so, he said, look, they can't take the shortcut. Just as people of God, if we take shortcuts in our business, somewhere it's going to cause us to go come up against a brick wall. It's going to cause us, amen, a shortfall in our bottom line because we're not going to make the impact or the influence that we're looking to make because we've taken shortcuts. We've shortchanged our business. We've shortchanged our vision. we shortchanged our destiny. We have shortchanged, right, our ability to live an abundant life because we want to be cheap and we do not want to invest in ourselves. We want to be cheap and we want don't want to invest in ourselves. And even if and and and, and you can have a low budget and do nice things. You can have a low budget and put together an amazing business. 
but that comes with a place of of a heart of understanding the word tells us that whatever you do do it unto the lord and if some people would just would be absolutely honest with themselves right i'm just saying that's all i'm saying mm. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, people of God, my God, let us begin to rethink how we do business and make sure that we're not taking shortcuts that short change ourselves. Amen. That cause us to fall short in our business. Amen. In the majestic name of of Jesus glory to God amen amen and amen amen we have definitely had an amazing episode of the build your empire with the kingdom strategies amen glory to God I am your host Dr. Duran Shazorn, your kingdom strategies are here to build strategies so that you may birth and expand in your dreams, in your goals, and in your destiny in the majestic name of Jesus. If this message have empowered you, subscribe to our broadcast at www.deronshazorn.com to schedule your 15 free minute consultation. Connect with us on your social media platforms, on Facebook and Instagram at Kingdom Strategies. Also on Twitter at KB Strategies. Amen. In Jesus' name, you guys have an amazing day and remember to build your empire. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. To God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.